Okay, this is the overview of the 2020 Seattle RV show. And primarily what I am interested in are the truck campers. Right below us here you see all the lances. And then let's walk over here. And there's just looking down on top of the lances from the mezzanine above. There is the Torklift International truck with a Lance camper on top of it. And I really dig the uh, fire. Dual rear wheels and it looks like it might be 19 inch wheels on it. And then it has some locking uh, clamps with turnbuckles on it. I don't see a spring load on it. All right, so it is a Lance with a rear side entry. Let's go take a look. Torque lift steps with a shoe cleaner brush. So the back slides out and the side slides out. And this side, it's a triple slide. Norcold. Yeah, that's a Norcold fridge. So here's the bed. It's a little narrower of a bed. It's probably still a queen, but it has a nice mirrored sliding closet on the side. There's a heat vent, heat duct up there. Nice big uh, escape hatch. I think it's the Heike stereo. Not yet. Awning style windows. And uh, these ones look to be insulated. Need a bigger truck for this. That's what she said. Yeah. Can never go wrong with a bigger truck. Nice little kitchen, microwave. Okay, so this is the one that we were looking at in 1172. To get to the bathroom or even in it, you have to have the slides out, so that's a consideration. Same with that model there, you have to have the slide out to get in, unless you can squeeze in. And 
there's a mill slide version. What is it really? It's an 8 foot 11, 2,500 pounds. Sandwiched in between the and then these are the short bed campers. Oh my gosh. Well, so far. But yeah, so that is it. Lance 1172. Yeah. So here's the fridge. Here's a compartment under the seat, end of the seat, generator, I'm assuming this is your battery, no, that is your uh, water and waste and all that good stuff. Here is your waste here, so it looks like this might even be qualified for four seasons. It's got uh, Reflectix around it. Okay. We have a little uh, six foot And there's the mother in law. Propane double propane tanks. What is that? Like seven gallons or ten gallons? But yeah, that holds a lot of propane, so that's a nice deal. And your water pump. And there's a heat duct blowing in here. Okay, I haven't seen the batteries yet. They're probably underneath. Okay, on to the next. Oh, that's nice. Oh, there you go. Okay, and it's got a uh, little garage on it, too. Those aren't dry storage. Not dry storage? No, so if you think you're going to keep your stuff dry, okay. you're going to have a pretty surprise on you. Okay. <laughs> but they all open. Okay. Is it solid enough to stand on? Yes. Okay. That's what it's made for. Okay. And then if it's on the truck, there's like this dirt. It drops down again. There's a step in. Oh, really? Okay. Oh. Okay. So it's, oh, it's nice. It's nice because you got the rear on and you can access uh, it. What do we have here? What is this one? That's storage. Okay. Just all the way up? It's not that long. It's like. Okay, slide out tray then. Yeah, it's all good. Okay, great. No, we don't need to. Okay, so this one is a double slide. It's got the uh, narrower queen bed here, but there's the TV, Heike escape hatch, a, a closet, chest up there, chest over there, and then just a shelf over there for like shoes or what have you. And, shelf underneath of the entertainment center so that's handy nice uh, uh, kind of a backlighting effect up front there over the bed and two lights it's got the more cold fridge again hmm? what oh no nah, that's all right uh, right there Check it out. Okay, so I think this, uh, yeah, this shower rod swings out like that. And then you can stand in the shower. And it has that uh, skylight for your head. 
and a clothes drying hanger here. A little to the side of your head, but you can fit. Well, you know, you do what you can to get space, you know, you have to be creative. At least you can see a little bit more but, oh, yeah, so. Toilet test? The toilet test. Truck campers are notoriously awful for the bathroom space. <laughs> yeah, and it's got a foot flush. Okay, and fantastic fan. Okay. Mm hmm. Um, 47,000, it is 10 foot 11 inches, it didn't it's seem that 62. big, 3,613 pounds, and a 1062, yeah. I prefer the, um, Atwood Jacks over the, uh, Happy Jacks, though. Now, what do we got here? Okay, so just a little... Closet for the outside. Well, no, you might be. No, I don't. Does it drop down in there? Yeah, a little bit. So yeah, that's kind of an interesting feature. It's got that slide out storage again. Pretty good. Stiff storage. Mm -hmm. That works. And close it well, again. At least the ladder jumps up. Mm hmm. Okay, look at the awning in the back. Oh. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's got a good sized awning behind out, it. Out the back. Mm hmm. And it has a little LED light up That's there. It's better than off the side. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So here is your control center. It has a generator, radio, microwave. And a range hood. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's got a little latch built into it. So there's your pantry. This doesn't have the overhead storage like they do with the pullout, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, see, it does, it's not as high. Yeah. Huh. So it has a nice. Uh, Dinette area. Yeah, the uh, they've all had wet bath or dry baths in here. I hope I didn't say wet bath earlier for a dry bath. That's one of the first things I change is the bathroom fan and put in a uh, fantastic fan. So that's handy. And it looks like adequate. Yeah, good bathroom space. And look how far back the fridge is. I actually like this better. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah. Look at this, like, spice. I like how they angled it, too. That was really clever. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a smaller one, 8 feet 11 inches. Um, I don't know. And this one is a wet bath. Okay, so that doorway is a tight one for a big guy. You got to come in sideways. Okay. Yeah, sideways for me. That's even smaller than our camper we have now. Yeah, but the uh, you can almost fit on the throne. Throne? You said throne. Yeah, well, the uh, commode. So, he's got forklift hats on all the campers. Yeah. So, yeah, this works okay. It's just big enough. You hit your knee here. But, uh, you know, uh, you have to 
compromise. It's probably got the water heater in here. I can't tell for sure. Yeah, but this is a good weather water sealed door. Let me squeeze out of here again. See, I have to go sideways to get in and out of the bathroom. Not a very good selling point. Well, you only use it for a few minutes a day. It's really too tight in here for us to walk around. Three burner stove. And they'll have that just like the one in my camper, only new. This is different here, the inward slope on the cabinet. And it's got the latch here. Okay, and this here is a little narrower of a fridge. I don't think it's as deep as my um, Dometic fridge. Well, this has the bed that pulls down too. Yeah. When you don't have the pull-outs, you have the bed that pulls down. Yeah, this will pull down for an upper bunk. Okay. You, uh, that. you have to undo those and then it'll plop down. Yeah, well that comes down for the bed, but uh, yeah, this uh, this is pretty nice. The um, uh, you know, take my picture. Take it. So it's nice about the dinette. It's a compromise in design again. It's the usual dinette that non-slide campers have with the little table that well, I guess you well it turns but then it's sliding in and out. But it is wider here, so the aisle is narrower. Uh, there's always a pro and a con, and uh, this works out pretty nicely though. Because you can just edit that. And then it has the fantastic vent, and this seems to be the popular thing right now is that um, skylight in all the campers and. I'm not 100% sure if that's just a skylight or if it has a light in it. But uh, you can close it up like this. So that's probably what it is, is a skylight. Okay, let's uh, move on to the next camper. So it's an eight foot, 11 inch and the dry weight is 2,500 pounds, 30 waters, gallons of fresh, 20 gray, and 18 black. So it has pretty good uh, capacities in the tanks. This is the fridge. This is the furnace. Outside outlet. The cover's broken off. There's your uh, outside gas connection for the barbecuer. And that looks like your uh, cable TV connections, I guess. the power plug one two three four five six seven pin but it's kind of that odd size and then they have it jumpered for whatever's going on inside two five gallon bottles of propane
and that's the sewer. Outside shower. Okay, so this here is your power, there's your outside water, but I um, have not yet seen the batteries. This is something I just noticed with the propane tanks <clears throat> or the propane compartment. It's open underneath. The way it's set up on my truck is there is a two inch hole over here and then a two inch pipe that comes up high over there and allows propane to come out through the two inch hole down on the bottom and outside air to come in on the top so this is more susceptible to dust and the elements and critters getting in it but the compartment is sealed so i suppose it probably isn't a big problem you might have a rat nest or something hornet's nest okay just a just a thought this is another smaller lance truck camper but again you see that the bottom of the propane compartment is completely open to the outside oh. this is the model 865 lance's largest non-slide short bed camper there's kind of the floor plan 32,800 so you see the seat by the door is a little narrower and then towards the middle of the cabin it's wider on this end so it's a little tight but uh, you can squeeze around it nice sink and work surface smaller fridge yeah, where's the lock for this? Open it. Where the heck is the? I can't get the bathroom. Not oh, seen. it's a slider. Oh, geez, Jeff, you'd never fit in that one. Look. Hmm. There's just something to push on the other side. There. So there you go. It's a small fridge, but uh, it's also a small camper. And it's a little more basic, not a lot of stuff built into it, but there's a closet rod with a closet uh, wire shelving above. Power station with a cigarette lighter and two USB power points. Television. Look at this, you wouldn't even see it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's... Get the bathroom Ooh. test fit here. You're being short bed. Oh, uh, what'd you knock down? Oh, there goes that shower crowd. Okay. Obviously, it's removable. <laughs> Oops, sorry. This is actually not bad. No? Uh, that's a little cozy. I don't know, that's well, a little, it's a little cozy. cozy. but I've got knee room in the front and I've got just yeah. enough side room. So this, this works pretty good. You have an armrest here for those long duration reading. <laughs> 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 Do yeah. not go in there. So it's got a covered toilet paper dispenser. Nice bathroom mirror. They taped it shut. They've got it locked shut. It's probably a medicine cabinet. They just have it taped shut. Here. So, 
all but mighty. There you go. That's all right. I'm okay. Okay. And it weighs in 2,012 pounds. Side awning and rear awning. This is another small sized camper. Actually, 1,840 pounds. The bathroom is really good for you. Mm. Yeah, this bathroom will work okay. Well, that's because there's no sink in it. Yeah, I know. That's small, but, but there's plenty of food room. Yeah. It's a little offset, though. It should have oh, yeah, that's weird. centered it. You don't need a picture of that, do you? What? I guess maybe they have the cats so. in every one. So yeah, it's a good size wet bath. Yeah, that's all. Well, you can put huh. one in. So have, well, this is meant for just a single person. Mm -hmm. So it has a good uh, U-shaped dinette, and I'm pretty sure you can. Are you video yep. Yeah, so you can turn that. You can get uh, three or four people in here comfortably. There's the bedroom, and again, it's the basic. Has a shelf, wire shelf above, and then just floor space over on this side. It's got a little TV here. Fantastic vent over the bed. AC unit, but that's it. No other uh, roof protrusions back here for like a skylight or anything. Got the microwave, two burner stove, cooktop but no oven and that little tiny fridge again so yeah this is nice enough for what it is I like it this one is the Lance 650 show price 28,000 half ton designed European style windows, so that's like the awning style windows. It feels pretty solid. It's got the gas charged shock uh, openers on it. So the dinette is a good size, good for one more bed. This one here is built out a little better. It has a kind of a wardrobe closet there and some shelving. It's a narrower unit. It's got a nicely set up TV, uh, swing arm and all the cable connections, power connection. So that's set up pretty well. Uh, DC power and USB connector below the stereo then it's got that small sized fridge right here cargo net in a shelf above the dinette so this is good you see the awning window there it just has a cooktop again no oven but it has the microwave and here are your controls for the unit awning light Awning control, tank and battery measurement, thermostat. So this is pretty good. And once again, toilet test is okay a little tight fit but you can do it and there's a furnace fantastic vent ac and another smaller fan up front Okay, so yeah, this is a good unit.